All right. So we had another false start and blundered down another wrong thing, but after giving it careful consideration, we're now thoroughly convinced that it's this side that you're supposed to go along. Which is the south side. And it is more picturesque, so I totally get it. The trail maestro <laughs> has a sense of these things, and he's usually always impeccable about it. So yeah, it is a nice view of the pond. Now let's see if we spot an elusive blaze. We are most assuredly on the south side. I tr trotted out my actual old school compass just to make sure. Do that every so often. Ah, we come to a gate. Maybe there'll be trail information of some kind. There. accesses to the pond. This is great foliage run for this time of year. Yeah, this makes sense. Oh yeah, and there's a blaze. <laughs> and the windblown milkweeds everywhere. No motorized vehicles and somewhat cordial overload of signage, an ancient state park sign. What do I do? Startle a snake? Oh yeah, there's the snake. Hi snake. our proper run. Well chosen. And it goes north to Newberry. And the cool little milkweed pod seed strewn meadow does have a feature role after all. We just skirt this lower end of it. Nice. I bet you one reason it runs through here is because trying to maintain signage in a trail through a meadow can be a real handful. Whereas if you skirt the edges, there are more places to put blazes when you actually put them there.
we should soon be coming to the spot where it turns. Heads towards the Sudbury Reservoir. And here we are. We went up that way last time. So that's where the trail follows. Heading to here. And that's where it follows. Heading towards So yes, this is where we rejoin our last trip. This is very important. Keep your eyes on this old cut tree. And you'll be coming, you'll hit this and go this way and it brings you down to the Sudbury Reservoir. And then this is, yeah, I know, but the Sudbury Reservoir is beyond. So this eventually takes you down the Sudbury Reservoir. Here's the little BB Pond thing that's your immediate water feature. And basically the trail sensibly skirts the meadow on the lower side. So it's running a little buffer strip of woods between the pond and the meadow. Nice pick. <laughs> and now we're heading back. We're covered. Let's see what else we can find. 